If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be ranking my top eight Team Diamond players in Madden 22, guys. So Team Diamonds did go live today at 10 30 Eastern Time, which is super weird because if you watched the stream or watched my video yesterday, Kralo did pretty much say, well, he did say, not pretty much, he said Team Diamonds will not be going live at 10 30. It'll be going live anywhere between noon and around 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we already knew it was one of those weird days where the promo came out late and it's a short day and one of those things. And around 10.30, I'm getting ready to do some other things and the promo came live. So made my video already. You probably already saw it. If you didn't already, go back and watch that so you can get caught up in the promo. But I'm ranking my top eight. For all you guys who get the free team builders and want to go ahead and complete a set and you want to know who to take, these are my top eight players. Remember, there's some movement. You can move some of these players around in your own way. These are like just the eight players you kind of need. Again, the number one guy for you, you might have the position at, so maybe he's not your number one guy. Adjust accordingly. You guys know the deal. Now, if you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, you need coins to pick up any of these players. Head on down below. Super cheap coins. Make sure to use code Poodle at checkout. So, let's get into this, guys. So let's, let's filter this out. Let's get the filters going. You guys know the deal. Filter this out by Team Diamond so we can look at this nicely and very, very, very organized here. So, for the first guy coming at number eight on the list is a guy... That is at a position that people don't typically like to buy, but he's the best one, and I really actually like him. We need to predict him. That's Haloti Nada. Haloti Nada for the Baltimore Ravens. Only 75 speed, right? But he gets 87 Excel, which is really good. 90 strength, which is really good. 85 tackle, which is pretty good. 87 play rex, good. 91 block, so that's threshold. 90 power move, that's threshold. And he gets 90 strength, like I said. And he's 6 foot 4, 340 pounds. This 81 jumping is kind of crazy, actually. 90 impact blocking. 88 hit power. This card's gonna be an absolute beast. Of course, he's a defensive tackle, so maybe you don't like using them, maybe you don't like buying them, but if you get one for whatever reason, he would be your guy. Next is going to be a halfback. Now, he was our Mutt Master a few years ago, I believe Madden 20. Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams is pretty good for a few reasons. First off, he's 230 pounds, right? So let's compare him to Saquon here for you guys to really get a good comparison. He has the same weight as pretty much Saquon, right? The 233, 200, 230, 233. Saquon's a little bit uh, a little bit heavier. Ricky Williams is faster, right? By one speed. When you power him up, acceleration will be plus one excel. He'll have a little less agility, a little less one less carrying, but he will get well, pause. Same change of direction. So trucking wise, though, he's gonna get plus 10 trucking, plus five break tackle. And not to mention the behind the carts that Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams is probably going to be one of the best running backs in the game. I mean, you look at the back of his card, he gets the 90 juke threshold when you power him up. He already has the tr he has trucking and juking 90-90. Good stiff arm, break tackle, good everything, and he's pretty heavy, and he's a power back uh, archetype, so you will get some power abilities. He's really good. I really like this Ricky Williams card. He looks pretty good to me. Next guy, I gotta, I gotta put a lineman in there. I really like the Zimmerman card. I like when you power up a lineman and they're all threshold. And of course, he's not gonna be the flashiest pick, but again, if you power him up, he'll have not above 90 run blocking, all across the board, above 90 pass blocking, all across the board, above 90 awareness. He's six foot six. He'll also get the impact blocking above 90. He has pretty high lead blocking. He's left tackle, so it doesn't really matter. Overall, the card's gonna be all threshold, and you can pretty much set him at your lineman spot on the left side and just leave him for like months because he's gonna be all threshold. And he's gonna get the job done until we get like 99 ones, right? It's pretty good. Next, we have cornerback, Akib Talib. Pretty solid corner. Aaron Glenn's good too, but he doesn't get as many thresholds and he's smaller. Akib Talib, six foot one. He'll have 91 speed, 91 excel powered up, which is really good. He'll get the man threshold and the press threshold. His zone will fall slightly short, which you can use the strategy card to supplement. And he gets pretty decent play rec, right? But if you look in the back, he's 91 jumping, which is good. 76 catching, which is good. 85 COD. 88 juke move. 80 spin. That's pretty good as well. And his block shares is 76 all around. 77 hit power. Akeem Tlaib is a pretty solid cornerback. Next on the list, we have a safety. I wish he was a bit faster. I wish he was a bit taller, obviously. But Jack Tatum, I thought he was taller. I think I was confusing him with someone else. Uh, Jack Tatum for the Raiders. Still really, really good nonetheless. He's going to be 5'10", 200 pounds, but powered up, he will have a 90 speed, 92 excel, which makes him fast enough, right? Right there in the Ed Reed territory. But with the beauty of this card, he gets the zone threshold and the hit power threshold, which makes him very similar to like, if you have him and Sean Taylor over the top, you're going to have above 90 zone and hit powers with speeds, decent height, play rec pursuit, and he gets 91 jumping, 70 catching, and 85 change of direction, 85 impact blocking, and 80 block shed. He's going to be great. You can put him at linebacker. And that's what I love about him. 
He could play deep safety, but you can always move him down to sub linebacker and just have him in the box, and he'll be amazing at that spot. Height-wise, you know, hit power, zone, jumping, everything. He'll be perfect there. Next, guys, we have Jordan, the wide receiver. I didn't even know who this guy was, but he's pretty good. Probably the best wide receiver of the bunch, and that's going to be Charlie Joyner, slot receiver for the Los Angeles Chargers. He has 91 speed, right? So it's going to be 92 speed, going to be super fast. 90 jumping, 89 catching powered up, 89 catching trap, but he'll have 91 spec, 88 short, 91 medium, 92 deep. So he'll get the deep and medium route running thresholds, as well as the spec catch threshold, as well as being super fast. And then behind the card, he gets 91 COD, 90 juke, 90 spin. He's going to be super good with the ball in his hands, not to mention the fact that like he's just a well-rounded beast, right? He's just, he's really good. I don't know who he is, but he's super well-rounded and you really can't go wrong with a card like him. Next, guys, we have an outside linebacker here. Hopefully, I picked the right one. Let's see. We have, it was not a rack po, it was left outside. We have Haley. And again, remember, guys, these guys go on theme teams. They get three times team chems. They're also beneficial in terms of that. Charles Haley is really good. Now, he has an 86 speed, 89 excel, which makes him one of the more athletic outside linebackers in the game. He gets 87 strength. He gets 87, 86 tackle. He gets 89 play rec, 88 block shed, 90 power move, 89 finesse move. Powered up and counted, of course, he's going to have above 90 finesse move threshold, above 90 power move threshold. He'll only get an 89 block shed, which is kind of what hurts him here. Now, the only thing I hope for is that you put a strategy card in him for plus one block shed. He'll have the 90 block shed, power move, and finesse move threshold, plus 87 speed, 90 excel. He'll be super, he'll be an amazing outside linebacker with 87 strength, 255 pounds. You really can't go wrong with him. 90 impact block when he's powered up, and his hit power is going to be 89. He's just, he's insane. He's really, really good. That's why he takes the number two spot in this list. But of course, he has to be powered up and you have to put a strategy card in him for the block shed if you can afford to put one in a spot there. Not bad. Maybe they drop a Team Diamond strategy card, which they really should drop that because that'd be super cool. But that's Charles Haley. And for the number one guy, which I think the EA kind of messed this guy up a little bit. According to Pro Football Reference and Focus and all those things, Deuce Haley, who's my number one guy on the spot, was up reportedly 240 pounds. That didn't really make sense to me because of course, he looks kind of skinny in this picture here. I mean, He's a receiving back, right? I didn't expect him to be that big. But according to Pro Football Reference, he's 240 pounds. But here, they only listed him at 220, which is still good weight. But he's probably the best one overall speed-wise. He's a running back, right? Running back, but he's going to be the fastest running back in the game. I mean, he gets 92 speed, powered up. He's going to be tied for fastest. 92 excel, 91 speed, 88 agility, 89 carrying. But he's super well around. He'll get 80 catching, 92 COD, 87 truck, 87 break tackle. Uh, 220 pounds, he gets 90 jumping. He gets pretty decent 79 strength. He also gets 92, uh, I mean, sorry, 90 ball carry vision, 92 juke. He gets just a little bit of everything, 80 uh, short running. So for next gen, with how people like to use their backs out of the backfield, they're going to have an amazing receiving back. You're also going to have an, a pretty good power back. You're also going to have a really fast speed back and elusive back. If you want a well-rounded back that can do just about everything, it's him. Now, had they given him 240, it would have been even better. And your mates have seen him and Ricky Williams aren't as far apart as you think, though. I mean, Ricky Williams is at seven, but he's a bit more powerful. But um, Deuce Daly is a bit faster, right? So I like both. I would recommend both. But here's the list overall. We got Nada, Ricky Williams, Zimmerman, Akeem Talib, Jack Tatum, Charlie Joyner, Haley, and Deuce Staley. That's going to be the list, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you have any other comments, alterations to make to the list, comment down below and let me know what you guys think in terms of did I miss anyone? Did someone get stumped from the list? Do you think anyone else should have been added? Just let me know down below and we can go ahead and, you know, talk down below. Let me, let me know if you guys think any alterations should have been made. But otherwise, guys, it's better for the video. Enjoy. I'm out. Peace.